Hello, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 64 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. And uh, after careful consideration, I've decided to not model the top part of this just because of time, because I'm already on my 64th part, and I don't think you want to listen to another few hours of just modeling the top, so I'm not going to do that. And also on the gun here, um, the one I made before had scaling issues, so I just um, made it longer and a little thicker. So whatever fits your model, I mean, just make it the size that looks good. You don't have to be true to anything, really. Uh, so this is basically where we left off, except I think I did holes or something. So select these, move this back on, and move them over here. Okay. Um, next, we're going to want to copy these out. Okay. Rotate 90 degrees. Alright, bring it down. Push it in. them right back in. Okay, um, next let's build, mm, select this, bring it over here, rotate 90 degrees, okay, sink in, sink it in, side, okay. Select this, copy it over, alright. Uh, sink it in. Okay. Bring that up. Alright. And we have room here. Yep, just bring it right there. And select all of those. Bring them over, okay. Mirror on the Z. Sink them back in. Ooh. Okay, bring them back out. That's uh -huh. And just sink them in one at a time. Rotate 90 degrees and bring it down, center it, copy it over, okay, and let's also increase the height of this, okay. Um, next, we're going to need to this, copy it over here, bring it down, and put it in there, go over to this side here, mirror on the Z, and finish copying it, okay, um, Next, select or create a cylinder using auto grid. Create it right here. All right, make it uh, gray, I guess. I'm gonna hide some of this down. Give it mm, six. 
six segments, looks good. Convert to editable poly, polygon, select that. Edges, chamfer. Okay. Bring it down. Looks pretty good. Uh, effect pivot only, and align it to that. Okay. Rotate. Do it. 30 degrees. Actually, wait. Uh, yeah, so do it 30 degrees 12 times. So 11, actually. What do you want? Which gives you those. Okay. Next, select all of this. Deselect the uh, center part there. And use the move tool. View. Tap it over, OK. Mirror it on the X. So that's what we want. And we're going to want to move it over. Select that. Just move this one over a bit. Okay. Now we've got two guns going on there. And next, let's build a box using auto grid. Just make it right about here. Bring it out. Go into your four views. Um, Make it from top, front, left, perspective, Z. Okay, um, move this out a bit. And you're just going to want to approximately center it. Convert to editable poly, rotex. Increase the vert, or bring them back a bit, I guess. And just make sure the vertices extend right out to the edges. is here. Bring them up just a tad. Bring these up to the same level. Okay. Next we're going to want to select these edges, connect. Select these edges, connect. Polygon. And in this view here, get one, delete. One and delete. So with that polygon, hinge from edge, pick hinge right there. 180 and 18. Okay, delete. Then do the same for the other side. Pick hinge. Okay, delete. Now grab those vertices and just drag them inward a bit so they make a little shell around these and then go into the polygon and select so select the Select the four middle polygons and deselect all the other ones and uh, extrude them a bit. Okay. Flatten it out. Okay. Edge. Select the center edge here. Okay. Chamfer. Bit, and that'll be it for part 64. I'll see you in part 65.